What's up, people? Welcome back to my plants. What's up, people? Welcome back. Welcome to my plants. Welcome to my plants. Hmm, that's a good one. So I know I've been doing this pre-production series for the past couple weeks, and I know that this week's video was supposed to be about scheduling, but something within me was telling me to kind of make something different today. Um, I don't know if it's because um, I'm talking to a bunch of different people and it's a general conclusion that everyone is kind of slow right now or you know there's a mix between people that are really slow and really busy and there's kind of just no in between and it seems like we've been in this season of not being too busy and I feel like a lot of you all myself included can relate um, specifically, um, in January for me to be totally transparent. I think I was on set maybe one day out of the whole month. I don't think I was booked really at all in January and beginning of February, not too much. Uh, it only really started to kind of pick back up a little bit middle to end of February to now until April a little bit. Um, but yeah, I can definitely relate to a lot of you in the fact that this was certainly a slow season, a slow start to the season for sure. And um, I think why I was called to make this video or I felt the urge to make this video was just to hopefully provide some sort of encouragement to someone out there who, you know, is struggling with the idea of not being good enough or, you know, you're, you feel forgotten, people don't want to hire you, you think your work's not good enough, and you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself and, you know, I'm equally as guilty in that and putting pressure on myself and you know always wanting to be booked always wanting to get hired always wanting people to be like yes he's the right person for this job but at the end of the day it's just it's it's hard and it's not how it works really and i also want to kind of just share something that i've that i kind of decided to do pretty recently that um i really needed to do because i felt like i've been in this cycle this loop of just work 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 and i don't even mean just like being on set i mean like thinking about work thinking about not getting hired and it's also involving you know consistently making youtube videos and consistently doing this podcast as well and a bunch of other things that i have in the background going on so ever uh, more and more it's just like my life is being consumed by work and um, I don't really have time to do any of the things that I truly enjoyed doing and the reason why I started doing this in the first place. And um, that really goes back to a couple of years ago when I would go to the beach where I grew up and I'd go every sunrise, every sunset and just bring a camera, shoot, be with a couple friends and literally have no agenda at all and just have fun at the most purest form possible and i feel that i miss that and i need that again what i did recently was kind of talk with my buddy tomas i've mentioned him a bunch in these videos he's the one that owns the east waves clothing company um i'm always a fan of you know doing stuff for my friends and i knew he just came out with a couple new products so i was like let's just go freaking shoot something man let's just go have fun go to the beach just I don't want to have a plan I just want to go out there and just do what we did a couple years ago and just have fun and shoot something and obviously he was on board he's always on board to shoot things and I think within like a day we kind of planned this little fun thing we got a couple people together that were just committed to helping out and being around there and having fun and we just created this little surf video this little promo for his company and honestly there was no there was no storyboards there was no script there was no shot list there was no real intention behind this video at all besides the fact that i just needed to shoot something for the sake of shooting something for fun without the pressure of a schedule without the pressure of a first ad producers director just none of that just go back to where we started that's that's what i needed and granted you know it's a little different because I'm not shooting on a little camera. I decided to take the Venice out and shoot with that no easy rig, just manhandling the crap out of that thing. But 
yeah, I, that's the sh that's the stuff I love, like doing that. And it's just, it reinvigorated something inside of me. And I really do encourage all of you to find what, find the reason you started doing this. What, what did you do in the beginning? What motivated you to just get out of your house and shoot something? Where was that place? Who was that with? What feelings did you have when you were shooting there? And like, are you missing those now in your life? And how can you reintegrate that in your life? more consistently or even just once in a while you know I don't live by that beach anymore where we grew up or where um, we shot this thing but it's in it's about an hour and a half away from me and if I can get there once in a while I feel a different energy I feel better about myself about life it just brings me back to a place of where I started and it shows me where I've gone and how far I've come from and you know not and i i don't want to tie this too much into you know business or whatever but regardless of your work life and how busy you are creating these passion projects or these like little fun things aren't gonna hurt you like just because it's not related to a client or it doesn't have a big producer or director attached to it doesn't mean it's any less worthy of sharing this piece of work than those pieces do and you know you never know what might happen from that passion shoot i've since i've released this surfing video i've had a bunch of people reach out saying that they loved it and they wanted to do something similar to that or they love this particular composition they love how i lit it in natural light like I just it, it gets a lot of the conversations going again just based on a pure passion project and just the idea of having fun and a lot of the best projects that you'll ever make in your life, myself included, have been purely out of passion, purely out of fun, and just because I want to truly do it for myself and helping a friend, for example, on this one. And, you know, that's really, I don't even, I think today was just a little rant type of video or... I had a whole script written out for that, for the scheduling pre-production, a whole three-page script, and changed it last minute to this where I'm kind of just going off a whim I don't have a script but I'm just kind of speaking from my heart here and hopefully you guys can relate and hopefully it helps at least one of you get out of that little rut that you're feeling right now you're sitting there watching me right now talk to you and you're you're about to log off YouTube and check your email or reach out to people to see if you can get hired I know that feeling I do I was there I'm there all the time but sometimes we have to look at our current situations and realize what is the best way to spend our current time. And sure, some of it might be networking, emailing directors, producers, but is it sitting there kind of sulking in a way? Is that the best way to spend your time? Or can you consciously get out of that by saying, I'm just gonna go out and bring a camera and shoot something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's for, who it's for. I don't really care. I just want to go out, separate myself from home, from my office, and just have fun. Be pure. Be alive in the moment. Be present. And I can almost guarantee that you will never regret that. And that is one of the things that I found that continually helps me get out of ruts is just getting out and shooting something for no reason other than just to bring me back to why I started doing this in the first place. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you found some benefits, some words of wisdom. Hopefully I encouraged at least one of you to get up, go out, shoot, do something. But just know that you're not alone. We're all in this together. We've experienced the same doubts. We experienced the same fears. We experienced the same ruts and slow days slow months but we also experience the good days we experience the busy days we experience all of the things in between and that's just part of filmmaking and that's the journey that we chose to be on so the sooner that we can all understand that there are roads in filmmaking that are not just a straight line there are hills there are valleys it's up and down the whole way the sooner we can realize that the sooner we can understand our place and how to 
how to navigate each day as it comes by. And yeah, I think that's it. Went a little deep today. I think I'm, I think I want to talk more like this. I like this. This feels so much better than talking about like scripts and talking off a script. This is so much more enjoyable, but um, yeah, hopefully, I mean, also, by the way, I'm shooting this on a Venice. I don't know any other person shooting a YouTube video like this on a Venice. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I just, why not? So, does it look good? I don't know, let me know. But, yeah, that's it for today. At the end of this video, I am going to play that beach surf video that I uh, created for my buddy Tomas's company, East Waves. Um, let me know what you think about the video. Um, just honestly, just let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what's working for you, how, how you're helping yourself. And again, if you want to support a local business, check out the description below, Tomas's company, East Waves Co. It always is uh, really nice when you can support a local small business and use the code CARLO at checkout and you get a little discount. So that's all I got for you today. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy this video. See you next time. Peace out.